Long time ago, there's a mama's boy, a little fat, cause food brought him joy. His mama makes the best chili pays. When he left home, he missed all that taste. What taste? Sweet chili paste, fat chili paste. I'm so in love with your exotic taste. You'll understand what all the craze is. It's time to buy and invest in my toast <laughs> chili paste. Okay. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Great. Okay. Hi, my name is Will, and I'm the heart of Mato. At Mato, we make one of the best Malaysian artisans in the UK and possibly the world based on a recipe I nicked from my mom. So what makes our chili paste so interesting? Number one, it's versatile. Have it as a dip, cook with it or turn it into a curry sauce. Two, it's delicious. Try marinating with some chicken thigh, grill it in the oven, once charred, squeeze a tiny bit of lime over it and there you have it, succulent chicken satay. And three, it's irresistible, just like yours truly. <laughs> we've started in May 2017 and we've sold more than 8,000 units to date. We've recently launched into our first supermarket, that's Booth's, and we'll be exporting to the likes of Germany, Austria and Switzerland in a couple of months. I'm asking for £50,000 in return for 20% of my little company and together let's bring Matto to every kitchen and to every heart across the world. I know we'll get there because my name is Will, and when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. Yeah. Great. Let me pass you something for you guys to try. With a burning ambition to make a success of his fledgling chili paste company, it's Will Chu. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, it's got a bit of a kick, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, quite nice actually. It's lovely. Peter Jones is no stranger to propelling sources to success. He's the first to open the lid on this cheeky chap's condiment company. The last person that entered the den with a source and playing a guitar walked out with an investment. And today, he's a multi-millionaire. You're looking to be the second person. I don't want to be a second person because that will be a shadow of him. <laughs> but I think I can be my own person. And with the help of you guys here, I think we'll do great things. So in essence then, you've got a range of chilli pastes yeah. under the brand name of MacTok. Yes. When I moved to the UK for my studies, I was really homesick. I needed to make my mom's chilli paste, so she posted really good quality anchovies all the way from Malaysia so that I could enjoy something that my mom used to make. Okay. Where are you selling it at the moment? Local farm shops and delis across Yorkshire, as well as a Booth supermarket. And where do you make them? So at the moment, uh, we make them in my friend's factory. Why did you smile when you said your friend's factory? I think that I'm very lucky because without the support that I've received, from friends, family, I wouldn't get here, seriously. That's a very reflective, humble thing to say. My mum always taught me that, just be nice. Yeah. yeah. I have exactly the same ethos. I think that's why I'm recognised as the nicest dragon. The happy-go-lucky entrepreneur's positivity seems to be having an effect in the den. I love him. Now, Tej Lalvani wants a taste of the company's structure. You've got people working for you. So I have um, myself, my co-founder, who works in this part-time. So did he get the listing at Booth's? Uh, no, I did that, actually. How's the share split, then? I hold 100% of the company. OK, and he has nothing? Uh, he's my cousin. Probably in paper, we should have those percentage being drawn out. But in my culture, in my family, blood is thicker than water. So the intention is to give him half, is that right? Yes. I want to understand the sales you had from May 2017 and then the whole of 2018 and then 2019. Right. I don't actually have that figure in my head, but... Um, you don't with... have that figure in your head? Yeah, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> That's a little bit disappointing. 
Tej Lalvani is no stranger to the dynamics of a family business, but he's not impressed by Will's lack of knowledge about his sales. And it looks as though Peter Jones is taking a trip down memory lane to mistakes from the past. I've been involved in certain similar type of products and it was interesting because the product didn't sell as well in this type of containment. Moving forward, yes, we've thought about um, increasing the size of the jars. Another thing that we're looking into is we plan to actually license the product so that the big boys could actually manufacture our products. Why would they want to do that when they can actually make the same product and create something themselves? And the thing is, they don't have me. <laughs> I can put a smile in anyone's face. <laughs> Will. Yeah, hi. What have you come here today for? Your expertise and your contacts. Because I suffer from social anxiety, so I'm not the best person to go out there and talk to people. And I'm not great at phoning up people. I get really, really scared to do that. But what I can do is stand in front of people and tell people about my products and my little story. And you're doing really well, considering it, if that's what you struggle from. You wouldn't know. Yeah. There's nothing but admiration in the den for Will's honesty, and his own special blend of charm hasn't gone unnoticed by Deborah Meaden. Will, you ooze joy, goodness, fun and pleasure, and that's fantastic. But of course, a product has to be able to convey that message and stand on its own. Describe you to me. How do I say that? I'm a person who loves to smile for whatever reason. Does that say that to you? Uh, well, it's quite simple and fun in the way, the colours. I'm not sure it's that much fun. If you don't find a way of getting people to pick your personality off the shelf, they're going to pick somebody else's personality off the shelf. This, to me, looks quite similar to quite a lot of products out there. I've really enjoyed your pitch. It has led me to what you said, a little bit of joy. But unfortunately, I won't be investing. I'm out. Deborah Meaden may be the first dragon to go out, but Will's smile shows no sign of wavering. But is his pace to Tej Lalvani's taste? For me, if you believed in yourself a lot more, a lot more people will believe in you. And I actually think you can achieve it and do it. I mean, you've got that listing in Boots, but I think this area is a bit too niche for me. I think if you keep pushing at it, there's a will, there's a way. All right? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm out, but good luck. Thank you. Will. Yeah. I think you've got the makings of being a real entrepreneur. Thank you. I have one problem. It is an area that I'm not too familiar with. There are better dragons that could help you a lot more than I can. I'm not going to invest today, and I'm out. More sorrow for the source entrepreneur as two more bow out of the deal. Is the dragon with the most experience in this market ready to dish out his verdict? This is very, very early stage in what you've created. A big investment into your business right now with your experience is very risky for an investor unless they're willing to jump into almost bed with you and run that whole project. So that's not something that I can go on that journey with. But I, I say carry on, but it's not for me and I'm out. It's not looking good for Will as Peter Jones becomes the fourth dragon out, leaving just Sarah Davies. Will she be willing to take a risk on this young entrepreneur?
I'm sat here and I'm thinking, there's a guy up there who's been there and done this, who's seen an entrepreneur walk into here, full of personality, bit of a product there, and has made it into a worldwide global brand worth millions. And he said no to this. Which tells me if I say yes, surely, I mean, I, I don't know more than that guy knows. When I came into the den, I set myself some clear parameters. And this is everything I said that I wouldn't do. There's loads of chilli paste, but there's only one will. And I think you are great. And I just, I love you, and I, and I really want to make this work with you. you. I do, and, and I just think someone needs to give you that break. Sorry. Here's what I think we should do. I'll make you an offer. I'll give you all of the money. Me, you and your cousin. I think we should have a third each. Can I talk to the wall? Can yeah, go, the wall. go talk to the wall. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Oh, that's sweet. Look. I don't know what I'm talking to the wall for. Sarah Davies lets her heart rule her head as she offers the full £50,000, but for 13% more equity than Will originally wanted to give away. I started my business because of my mum, and she's always been behind me all the way. And uh, uh, without her support and everyone else that's behind me, I wouldn't be here today talking to you guys. Thank you all for your time. And I would accept your offer. Yes. Wow. 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 She's going to be so proud of you, isn't she? Oh. Thank you. But it's you. That's what I've invested in. Thank you. It's you. Well done. well done. Will. Will leaves behind an unusually emotional den and heads back to Sheffield with an investment from seasoned business builder, Sarah Davies. I'm feeling confident and I think our future will be filled with joy, laughter and a bit of chilli in between. How hot is that? <laughs>